stopping in. Quickly just updating you guys. Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. So I never necessarily wanted to make this video. Number one, it's more on the serious side. Really on the serious side. And it's not funny, not really entertaining. But, I mean, either way, you guys were going to find out. So might as well just keep on the same page. And instead of being like a little bitch and just hiding it and kind of just like avoiding it, face-to-face, -face, personal conversation, royal gilly to you guys. <sighs> I'm just going to come out and say it. I mean, this is like the 23rd time I've recorded this. And I kept beating around the bush, but I actually quit porn. I did. And if you know me, and you know me well, you know that I've fucking severely expressed the deep passion that this guy right here has for touching his dick and watching pornography. Okay? Something changed recently, though, where, you know, you, you get horny, you fucking go on the da-da-da-da, and... Holy shit, this is hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then after, after though, it's like, huh, something changed. The gears shifted a little bit where it was like, guilty. Like, what the fuck? This shit is nasty. Gross. And, man, I would just go to sleep at night really feeling kind of bad. That's how bad it was because, to put it lightly, just to sugarcoat it, I was addicted. For real addicted and I think I just made it so open and made it seem cool so I got a lot of people kinda hooked on it I'd get these messages from fans like yo man every fucking day I am busting nuts and I'm thinking like whoa I'm spreading a fucking epidemic right now so this is re really recently like within the past few weeks and um it all started, yeah, with, like I said, I just started feeling really bad, feeling kind of, like, shitty, and I just noticed it in my attitude and my mood, and, you know, these girls don't even fucking really, I'm sitting there, wow, this girl really likes that fucking dick, she is so turned on, wow, this is how, this is what fucking sex is, and then I realized, this bitch is putting on a show, she gets fucked, she's acting like she likes this and then she feels dirty and she gets her sad fucking money and goes home and <sighs> maybe I should get a real job and it just kinda started rubbing off on me because I'm an emotional guy in touch with my feelings and you know when girls are getting fucked and just <laughs> slapped in the fucking face and gagged and you know fucking double-ended dildo whatever it's hot at first but then it really starts to wear wear you down mentally and, you know, another thing that really pushed my, um, my decision to quit this shit was there's this fucking documentary on Netflix that you guys should watch. I'm not, like, promoting it or anything, but Netflix money. Uh, Hot Girls Wanted. You should watch it. It really changes your mind about porn. And you see, it's a documentary about what these girls go through. And, wow, that bitch hates sex now. Her life is fucking ruined. And it'll just make you feel bad and make you like, hey, yeah, porn is fucked up. Royal Gilly, you were right. You disagree with me now completely about this shit, but you go and watch that and you'll kind of understand. And like the third thing that completely pushed me over the edge, well, not completely, but, you know, having a girlfriend and all and jacking off to that shit, I mean, guys are going to do what guys are going to do, but still it's kind of just like, uh, girlfriend, you know, it's bad, don't watch porn, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just really needed to admit this to you guys, because it's a big change in my life. Not my life, but this YouTube channel revolves around my life, and a lot of my videos that got really popular were about masturbation, so they go hand in hand, and it's just kind of respectful to be on the same page and let you guys know what's going on. So... Yeah, just needed to let you guys know I quit porn. That's it. Sorry. Peace out.